Is this? <coughs> Good one. Yes. Hello. Who are you? Me? No one. I'm just a working class woman. She doesn't really want to be disturbed that much. If she's such a working class woman, why isn't she working? Oh God! What are you doing? Working for something to read. I don't know. It is. A policeman. I know you are. You need a help for policeman. What with? Her hands move over the book covers. The tips of her fingers look rough, stained with <coughs> yellow. It seems like she has spent a lot of time at work smoking. Another comrade. Years of labor are pressing down on her shoulders. She deserves a hug for all the work she's done for mankind. An array of neurons fire up with joy. Bum her a cigarette, lest it turn to pain. You step in. Why did I? Why did I try to do this? Foreign body, wandering astray in touch. There's a small movement beneath your hands as you shut your eyes. Then a tiny voice breaks out and asks, "What is happening?" She seems to be confused. Your hands are wrapped around her polyester coat. The fabric feels cold. Why did I choose this option? See nearby. She steps back and returns her attention to books. Do you no, smoke? I don't. I know for a fact that you smoke. Why do you think that I smoke? Your hands look like they belong to a heavy smoker. It's not like yours look much better. Just give me a cigarette, please. I already told you, I don't have any. Go She's lying. She's goddamn lying. She has smokes. Okay, thanks, no problem. She sighs. Maybe your husband is missing? My husband? No, he's not. So where could he be? I don't know. <coughs> At home now? Out drinking with his friends? Smoking? <coughs> where is this going, officer? So what I'm hearing is you don't really know where your husband yes, is. Yes, but... I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. Wouldn't you like to? No. Maybe you're right, maybe he isn't missing anything. Of course indeed. he's not. It's not like he's a pocket watch. Maybe your cockatoo is missing? I don't mean to disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. For what it's worth, I agree. But cockatoos can't be stopped when they get ladies. It's better to indulge him at this point. Ma'am, I was asking about your cockatoo, is it missing? I don't even have a cockatoo. And guess what? It's a trap. Never ever say Alright, cockatoo not missing, I just wanted to make sure. Great. Wonderful. That's all for the moment. I'll let you read. Who's this child? Hello, sir. <coughs> Step right in. The store is open. Hello. Hi. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? What kind of store is this anyway? It's a bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. It's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses, little girl. What's a board game? Board games are like little games on a table, <clears throat> made to pass the time. There are several different ones, but sailors here mostly buy cards. What's a postcard? A postcard is a small cardboard picture. You can write a few words on the other side and send it to your friend or beloved. What is a book? That is a book. <clears throat> they have stories inside them. It's like someone told you a story in a really long letter. Interesting, thanks. My pleasure. Anything else you'd like to know? Is it okay if I ask you some questions? Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. What is your name? My name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside minding the register or organising the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. And you're standing out here in the cold because... I'm signalling that the store is open. Otherwise, <coughs> no, they'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. I could help by brutally dismantling the free market. Thank you, sir. I'm glad to help Mum out with the store. 
Who's that? Point to the woman browsing books. Oh, that's Auntie Billy. She's nice if a bit distressed. She's your... Why is she distressed? I think she is a bad husband. Oh. Not very nice or helpful. Shouldn't you be at school or something? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mum keep this place running. What is school anyway? School? Well, mine is a big yellow building on Boogie Street. And the people there run it. They say it's a charity. The gale wind blows in from the coast. <clears throat> it wraps itself around a building of brick and mortar. Somewhere, a clamor rings through the honeycomb of classrooms. What is this feeling? Remorse. The parquet of assembly halls. The rows of stall bars are growing cold. The corridors stand empty. The girl's voice somehow finds its way through this strange feeling. You haven't heard a word of what she's been saying these past few moments. You only hear. Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. How's this business doing? Mum says it's <coughs> catchy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Cursed in what way? Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Bankrupt. Exactly. But we've been doing fine so far. I don't think curses are real. They shouldn't be, but they seem real. Anyhow, they say that these grounds are doomed for businesses. I don't want to call her a child that's so condescending. <coughs> of course, sir. Um... Okay, bye. See you around in it. Stop bothering her. about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, all right? Look in his hand, going into his mouth. The sandwich, it's hauntingly beautiful. I'm trying to. But you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions never. Didn't I ask what game it is first? No. You got this. There's the ball. You're the game. Oh, I better observe them first. See? You're munching and complaining of <coughs> my concentration. Ah, mon dieu. The pain in my back is unbearable. I can't even say if it's in my back or hip anymore. Feels like it's in both. I hope you pass out from it, you goddamn jellyfish. Men like you are the reason this nation is sinking. Trying to throw something as close to a predetermined point as possible. Measuring. This must be the age-old game of Patank. Shush. Ignore them. They don't know what they're doing. They're old. You are letting down yourself and the team. Get in the damn game already. I'm on it, coach. Eyes on the ball, Dinky Winky. What? Okay, we're not getting in anymore. Why is there a minus that knowing what it is? We want of your time, fellas. <coughs> I am Rene. Rene Arno. <coughs> my specially abled partner here is Gaston. Oh Arno. shit. I sold his How photo. Rene, I find the guard boot. Yes. 
The Debardios Union pays me to stand vigil during the nights. Not out of any political allegiance, mind you. I'm an old man. Don't sleep more than a few hours every night anyway, and money is tight. You must have seen something on the night of the murder. Your boot looks right into the yard. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I wasn't working that night. Been on a two-week leave since last Monday. Hold on, why are you on leave? It's a private matter. Nothing to do with your investigation. You see, officer, René is the kind of man would rather die than admit he needs medical assistance or, God forbid, sick it. A real man's man is just gonna ride it out. I'm fine, God damn it. Mind your own business. <laughs> <coughs> it's nothing. Just got to cut back on coffee. It's his heart. Who was working your shift that night? No one. The bus has been unmanned since last Monday. There's no other guard. It's just me. No one has been guarding the container yard since last Monday. Yes. It's... It's not actually an issue. I mean... Look, officers. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardsman. Never had one before, René. Monsieur Claire had that booth built specially for him. So it doesn't matter if you're there or not. The possibility of someone being in there is enough to discourage any ill-minded individuals. Evra created this job for René because he knows the Royal Carabiniers' pension of honor and PTSD isn't something a man can live off. A decorated Kingsman collecting tear reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His words. I hate all of these options. <clears throat> There's absolutely nothing wrong with tear collecting, it's my side thing too. Oh, I didn't mean to imply there's something wrong with that. I do it too. <coughs> you are with it. It's an excellent side thing. Yes, yes, yes. Can we conclude the topic of my guard boost now? Got it, thanks. Yes, yes. Uh, like I said, it would be up anyway, so might as well keep an eye out. Keeps my senses sharp. I saw the statue of Philip the Third near the roundabout. Ah, yes. King Philip the Third on his steed. A reminder of what Revachol once was. Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep on a bed of gold. A superpower. Feared and <coughs> A testament to what this country can be. Under the leadership of a true king, I should true who king knows rule. how to rule decisively, without fear of offending the sensibilities of the frail and weak-minded among his subjects. This is something the insurgents never understood. Seems to me a leader should take care of his people before himself. Lesion is only as strong as its leader. That's why it was such madness to try to. Don't get started on that again. What happened? Happened. <coughs> The Carabineer doesn't reply, but his entire being communicates unbreakable resolve. Let's talk about right. something else. You anything about the man hanged in the backyard of the whirling in rags? Unfortunately, I don't. Unlike most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement, but this affair has passed me by completely. And most of the locals? In Martinez, the union is the law. So can you really blame them? But you don't have a problem with cops. Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire Yeesh. the effort to bring order to our streets. He doesn't know about the crime. Your time is better spent discussing politics. 
What about policewomen? I am confident they are indispensable in regard to all the paperwork and other administrative duties. I don't know dude, he's our same woman can carry out. I'm just but gonna antagonize him. That <coughs> her infinite wisdom has made men more fit to perform certain more challenging tasks. Don't you, officer? No, I don't think there's any evolutionary inequality at play here. Really, officer. <laughs> Match an average woman against an average man in a dark alley and see who comes out on top. Gender equality is a very noble, very modern idea. But in real life, primal roles prevail. But I do not wish to discuss this matter further. Mm, okay, decrepit old shit. You seem to be playing in a crater. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. Does it have anything to do with all the bullet holes I've been seeing around? Yes. <coughs> my heavy artillery fire. Okay, it's a crater left by artillery fire, but why? Why what? Why was heavy artillery used? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Did you use artillery fire against them? Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty, like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't so, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. It was probably a bit more complicated than that. Why shall them here in Martinez? Because this place is a damn beachhead. Had to soften the commies up first. The beachhead? Yes. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris. And the Delta. Deathblow sounds grim. This here is blood ground, where coalition boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit <coughs> Most likely, we're playing petonk on their mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Hold on, the coalition? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, officer. I hate those foreign dogs, but uh, the enemy of my enemy and all that. They're the lesser evil. Is that why everything is so bombed out? Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on this city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. He approves of this radical approach. Knows it was necessary. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, it's your own damn fault. You, we, the Coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players on the table. Let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... What do you think? Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. That's how it should be, so socialist paving the way for the hard working class to take over. Preposterous! <coughs> sorry I don't mean it. I'm just sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those commie hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking my piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachan. Of course he would. Or have. even if that damn clan Frisell had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. 
Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. But this is just what the commies wanted. This was their plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. How does Philip the Third factor into this? He doesn't. That was 100 years ago. It got nothing to do with anything. Who was, who was this Frisell? Damn Frisell. <coughs> he was the king we couldn't protect. The Carabineers failed him and the crown. He died in the hands of the Hyperlay in a very public execution. You mentioned Gion? A true king in both blood and mind led Revachal before Frisell. He would have been better, but the damn commies drove him into exile. What exactly is a suzerain? The suzerain is the king! Has everyone forgotten already? <sighs> They've forgotten already. It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. When we took our last stand against the filth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. All you observe is a veteran refusing to let go of the past and his old uniform. This is not uncommon. This is the uniform of the Royal Carabineers in service of Frissel the First, Guillaume Le Lion, and the valiant King Philip V before him. Don't you mean Frissel the Fan? You do not speak his name, Craven, although he was a clown. But he was our clown, ours to ridicule and to mourn. There's something you missed. You will get to it. Don't worry. Oh, these guys suck. <clears throat> Especially the royalists come back. A crumpled billboard reading Samaran. You can't open this, can you? A rusting con this panel usually before nothing happened. A spring bring wasn't there. A What's this? There's a pile of cheap. You like sunglasses, officer? I've got the. These are all boring. Boring third rate ho hum sung. Those UV stickers are almost certainly just there for the show. If anything, these lenses probably direct more UV light into your pupils. A UV magnifier. These are all first rate sunglasses. Premium design, super material. No luck. All you find is this lime colored cellophane visor. Produced by a bargain sportswear brand. Oh, that visor is perfect for you, officer. It'll definitely keep the sun out of your eyes while you're shooting criminals. Bang, bang! Give my first something you should be prepared for? I hope not. You don't like it? Sure, Square Joe. No problem. Let's get you some real shades. Abort. These are hideous. What's more, they don't even fit your face. You can feel them pinching your nose and chafing against your brow. Damn, officer! You look like a mega secret spy! Very secret! They're practically made for you! I'll let you have them for... two real and fifty cents. They're perfect for concealing your bloodshot and baggy eyes. No, you are definitely not buying those. Don't tell me what to do, Kim. I like those sunglasses. No, I can't. We can't walk around with you looking like this. Okay, fine. Go ahead. If you want to look like a walking midlife crisis, then who am I to interfere? A good starter pair, officer. And when you're ready to upgrade, come back and see me. I might. Still here, stuck in this damn jam, my man. What's up? Not much. 